At TED, you presented the Neuroplay demo. How did you come up with this idea for the Neuroplay project? What was the story and or inspiration behind it? What you, what you would imagine, what you would do with buttons or joysticks or whatever is really pragmatic, usually. And I intentionally wanted to do something which is not really pragmatic, which is more awesome. Christian is really the inspiration almost entirely behind the, um, the demonstration that we gave at TED. You know, it's almost been 10 years in the making in a certain sense. Uh, Christian was one of the first Kickstarter backers for OpenBCI. During my first year working full time with OpenBCI, that was actually when Christian came to visit. You know, after 30 minutes of me connecting less than $1,000 worth of equipment to Christian's body, he had four new buttons that he didn't even know about on his body. I think we both saw the promise in OpenBCI's technology I asked Christian, hey, you know, like if you had these buttons all the time, what would you do with your new buttons? And his response surprised me. He was like, I want to fly a drone. Connor approached me by email and asked me whether I would be like going to TED. And I said, whoa, is this real? TED reached out and Simone reached out and was like, hey, do you want to do it? demo? Do you want to give it a talk? And I was like, I know exactly what we're going to do. Getting ready to head to Germany. Departure at 445. New York City will be back soon. I learned that, oh, we're giving a TED talk. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I started to learn more about what the drone project was. And then I had a ticket to Germany uh, so I could go help with the hardware side of things. You may be able to. You might be able to. It just depends on if we have this is long enough. Because I don't know if this is high enough. Definitely. For the tribe, for this thing. But look, look where we are now. To me, the Neurofly project is a demonstration that the ability to harness signals from the body isn't a daunting task that requires a lot of equipment or expertise. We tried out a whole bunch of different um, methodologies for connecting to Christian, and I worked with Connor and Christian to play with different locations as well as different ways of conditioning that signal in order to give Christian clear control over the joystick that he used to eventually control the drone. On Saturday, the first real test flight with Christian, we were pretty, we were pretty confident it was gonna work. We mapped one of the moving directions to Christian's eyebrows. He started getting scared or surprised of how high the drone was going and he started being like, oh. so his eyebrows were going up, so then the drone was going faster and it crashed into a million pieces. And it just, boom. When I had heard that the drone crashed, I was, I was incredibly nervous. So at that point, we were thinking about, okay, should we even attempt to um, get the backup drone uh, working? We put a lot of work into trying to make that drone work. So in the office, we were still building the backup drones. And the plan at that point was to ship these drones and test them before they can go out. we decided to just go with the second drone. It was also just kind of a moment where we said, all right, cool, let's do the next thing. We, uh, we prepared for this. We weren't all in on this one platform, so let's move to the next thing. We weren't sure it was gonna work, you know, it was the first time and everything, and we heard this click, and it was Christian doing it. He took off with it, he had control of it. It was almost like anticlimactic, because there was so much drama and there was so much buildup to the crashing and the failed attempts and everything that when it finally worked, we were like, 
Wait, is he doing? He's he's doing it. Seeing uh, uh, what we planned, executed on the stage, was a feeling that I can't. It's hard for me to explain. How you feeling, Christian? Feeling good? Yes. All right. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. All right, take her up. And now, let's do something we probably shouldn't do and fly it over the audience. That gives me another perspective on on life also. Because um yeah, I'm free to move in the air. And normally I can't move at all in my body. But to whistle around in the air and to 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 swirl around, which is amazing. <laughs>